Welcome to the Know Before You Grow series. Today we're going to be looking at Miracle Grow Moisture Control Potting Mix. I'm Matt with Soil Lab. And I'm Chris with My Soil. Follow us along as we fill out a scorecard, evaluate its overall score and best uses. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing as a consumer that I'm concerned with and that I notice is the price. Now, to keep a level playing field, we look at price per cubic foot. And this is the price that we paid, not the price that you might be able to find on a sale. This miracle Grow Moisture Control Potting Mix came in at $16.16 .16 per cubic foot. Now, based on the chart we developed, that automatically assigns it a score of six. So, Chris and I don't really need to debate this one. So, score of six for the price. Now, Chris, as a consumer, what's the next thing that you're gonna notice? Yeah, typically as a consumer, the first thing you're gonna do is open the bag and really, you know, what is the smell of the, the product in the bag? Um, is it off-putting, neutral, you know, what's that smell? And so on smell for this particular product, um, I gave it a seven. Okay, and I was at a six. Maybe we could talk about why. Yeah, um, I felt, you know, it was pretty neutral for the most part, that woody kind of peat smell, but pretty neutral um, overall is what I what I got out, not off-putting. Yeah, I'd agree with that. It wasn't really off-putting, but I just remember having just a little bit of a non-natural smell. I don't know if that came from the bag itself or from the potting mix, but I, I dropped it down a little bit just because I got a sense of like something that smelled non-natural. And you know, that could have been from these polymer coated fertilizer pearls as well. So we agreed on a 6.5 Okay. for the smell. Well, while we have this out here, let's go ahead and talk about the overall look and feel of this potting mix. You know, it's, it's a pretty fine particle size. Um, there are some woody chunks in there and you can definitely see um, the fertilizer particles, a few of these larger chunks. So for those reasons, I had this at a uh, seven for, for look and feel. Uh, I rated it at a seven and a half. I mean, I feel like, um... You know, it's, it's pretty good, but I feel like you might get some splinters or something in your hand if you didn't wear gloves from the bigger woody or debris. But with the peat, yeah, I felt the right about a seven, seven and a half. Okay, well, we'll throw 7.25 on the scorecard um, for, our, for our average. Now, I think it's only appropriate that our next category, which is nutrient levels, is taken by uh, Chris with My Soil. So Chris, how'd you score this um, on the nutrient levels? Yeah, so for nutrient levels, what we did is we took the soil test prior to ever planting the plants. Uh, this particular product had really good um, nutrient levels. Most all the macronutrients were in range. The only one that was a little low is magnesium. Um, for micronutrients, all our micronutrients were low, which is pretty typical um, with a lot of these soils to be a little bit low, but pH was optimal. So overall, I scored this on nutrient levels as an eight. I was at an eight also, and the nutrient density score that you get through the MySoil platform had this at about 80% nutrient density, so that penciled and aligned with what we had. I do think it's notable that there's actually a fertilizer analysis on this bag. It's a 0.21, 0.11, 0.16, so less than a percent analysis of NP and K, um, but it is stated on the bag. Well, now that we've looked at price, at smell, at look and feel, and at the nutrient levels, we're always just left with the last question, will it grow? So Chris, what are some of the things that you noted as this grew out over the last six weeks? Yeah, so we did notice, obviously, it will grow a plant. Um, we noticed with this particular um, soil that the growth of the tomatoes was much more compact than some of the other ones that it was growing with. Another interesting thing, too, is um, compared to the other lettuce that was grown nearby, this particular lettuce in this soil was very upright in its growth that you can see here versus more flat like the other ones were. Um, and then again with the tomatoes, yeah, just more compact. I mean, not a ton of deficiencies showing, a little bit of wilt. Yeah, I really don't have anything to add there, right? So if we take Chris's numbers in mind, we average them, we're gonna come up with our overall rating. And the overall rating, based on Chris and I's observations for, for this soil, is a seven. Um, so it definitely ranks up there. And how would we actually use this? Now, I know a lot of people that just fill their containers, plant and go, and that's certainly, um, certainly one strategy and one use for this. What other uses could you see, uh, Chris, with this Miracle Grow Moisture Control? 
Yeah, I have it um, rated for more a complete grow, you know, filling containers with some amendments or adding to native soils um, as well for organic matter. Perfect, so put it in a container and grow, mix it into your soil, native soil and grow. Um, hopefully, this information is gonna help you make a decision on which potting mix you're gonna use this coming up season. Thanks for following along the Know Before You Grow series, and we'll see you again soon.